I guess I've never really done one of these before, but before I leave for college, I wanted to share why I've kept this EVGA GTX 960 with me for four years, why it's so important to me, and why we're building this PC today. So I received this GTX 960 back in 2018 while I was building my first PC. One of my earliest videos was about a free gaming PC, and in that video I documented how I learned to build a PC by asking neighbors for free PCs, taking them apart, and putting them back together. I got extremely lucky and I received this GPU and an office PC with an i5-2400 and 8GB of RAM for free, and that became my first real PC. At the time, I couldn't believe that I had actually gotten a semi-capable GPU because I had been playing games on an older Windows laptop at 30 FPS and editing videos on a 2015 MacBook Air. Now, eventually, I would save up enough money to buy parts for my own PC, which, of course, turned into another YouTube video. Building PCs became fun to me, and after playing around with some donated parts for a while, I became interested in flipping PCs. The first PC I ever flipped was on a trip to New York City. Uh, I stayed there for a month and over the course of two weeks I was able to make a nice $50 profit. Upon returning home I decided that I was going to start flipping PCs and over the course of the next year and a half I flipped over 25 PCs. PC flipping was obviously great because I got to build PCs and make money at the same time but I also had PCs to use to make YouTube videos about. My most popular videos are about hackintoshing, which all feature PCs that I was actually in the process of selling. Like this video, for example, my first hackintosh video ever features a PC that I was in the process of flipping. And that video really propelled my channel into monetization and in my eyes, into a legitimate YouTube channel. Now I started YouTube when I was in fourth grade back in 2014. And like any other young kid at the time, I really wanted to become a gaming YouTuber. I played Clash of Clans, I played Wizard 101, I played Minecraft, and I tried extremely hard to become a gaming YouTuber. Now, that didn't really work, but in sixth grade, I started a survival channel. If you're a really old supporter of the channel, you might remember that this channel actually used to be about outdoor survival, and it wasn't until late 2018 that I actually started posting tech videos instead. Now in 7th and 8th grade, 2017 to 2018, I was a really big fan of Casey Neistat, still am, I love his work, and naturally I started vlogging about anything that I thought could be interesting. I made videos about traveling on trains, adventures down a creek, going to an amusement park, and I eventually looked back on my videos and realized this is not it. I, this is not the genre for me. So I, I started posting tech videos instead of my survival channel, which had around 100 subscribers at the time. The first video I ever posted was a review of a pair of headphones that I had, and to get thousands of views on that video was a sign that I should stick with tech. And so for the past four years, I've been making videos about tech. And since I started YouTube in fourth grade, my one goal was to get monetized on YouTube. And it definitely wasn't easy because not only did it take six years, but I saw so many others around me starting YouTube channels and in my eyes succeeding, whether it be close friends, multiple of them, or even family members. Some people might take it as a source of inspiration, but to me, it was just an affirmation that my content was just simply not good. That, that was really hard for me to accept, but over time, I just began creating content and slowly forgot about everyone else. Looking back on my content now, I'm definitely proud of the work that I've put out and I can see a clear uptrend in the quality of my videos. For the most part, I've stopped flipping PCs and instead I'm going to college in the fall for computer engineering. It made a lot of sense considering my background and tech will probably be a big part of my life for the rest of my life. Now, I've been cleaning up my room for about a month now, getting ready to move out and I've realized what a journey it's been. I actually had so many spare parts and things that I never used that I'm back to the beginning, building a PC out of spare parts. Except this time, I'm planning to donate it instead of using it. Most of these parts here have some sort of significance. The CPU I received free from a neighbor, this PC case was from when I bought a case without a side panel and got scammed, and then obviously this GPU was with me right from the beginning. This PC, along with the MacBook Air I used to edit on, and the Chromebook I used for two of my installing Windows on a Chromebook videos, are all being donated to a Good Friends initiative, which provides high schoolers in underfunded communities with the tools and mentorship to create art, more specifically photography. I think it's a great cause. My friend who runs the program is a great person, and I'm glad that I was able to come full circle and finally donate this PC. 
I won't lie, I've been slacking off on the YouTube content. I've got a lot of ideas, but I've been busy finishing up high school, working over the summer, and I'll probably be fairly busy in the fall. But I do have a lot of content that I would like to do, and if time and space permits, I will get some videos out. Thanks for all the support all these years.